Hey guys, it's Tiffany, and today I'm going to teach you how... Oh, God, these lights. Oh, yeah. Look, I try to play it like I can see just fine, but when you sit down in front of these lights, it ain't no joke. <laughs> today, I'm going to teach you how to draw a mural on the wall. It doesn't matter if you're bad at drawing. It doesn't matter if you can't draw. If you can't paint, I promise you by the end of this, you're going to say, maybe I can do that, because I'm sure you can do that. So all you need is a few little things, and I got some tricks up my tricks up my sleeve like I'm a magician. Yeah. By the time you see my tricks, baby, whip it. Whip that rabbit out of the hat. Girl, like watch Bob Ross. Bob Ross could do anything. Okay? You can do it too. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a paper sleeve and pick out your image. And then we're going to trace that image onto our paper sleeve. Then we're going to take this to a piece of glass and then we can hold it up anywhere and put a flashlight behind it and it's going to project it on the wall. So I brought the image up on my iPad so I'm going to take the paper sleeve, lay it down on top of the image, and then I grabbed an old calligraphy pen but you could use a marker. And just hold this down, make sure it's straight. Hold this down and then we're just going to trace the image. Now this one, I don't want the birds. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? All right guys, so now that I traced my image onto the paper sleeve, you wanna tape that to a piece of glass out of a picture frame. Once you've taped it to the piece of glass, then you can get out your ladder and prop it up and point it at the wall. And then you have a DIY projector. Now I was lucky enough to pick up a, dis a dinosaur projector for $5 that was gonna go into the trash. So that's what I'm using. But now that the image is on the wall, all we're gonna do is go through with a pencil and trace it. Then once you turn the lights off, then your image is there. So then once you turn the lights off, you can see what you traced on the wall. And then all you have to do is fill in the lines. So yesterday I put two images on the wall. One I traced out exactly because I wanted it as close to the image as I picked out as possible. The other one, I kind of traced out the mass majority of it, which was the bigger tree. And then I left the leaves off because I wanted to add the leaves myself. So this is the tree. This is the tree that I did not trace up on the wall exactly, but I did the branches. I did the branches, but didn't do the leaves. So then what I did was I cut some leaves out just like this. And I promise you, it's really easy. You draw like a fake eyeball that you did when you were like on a picture that you did when you were a kid and you drew that, that shape and it was always funky and didn't look right. That's the perfect leaf shape, okay? I know you're like, oh my God, it is. Totally is, okay? So after I traced the branches up on the wall, then today I went through and I took my pencil and I traced them again just to make it a little bit darker so that way I could see it. And then I added the leaves to all the branches. And I just added them randomly because I wanted to add my little touch to it. Now this image, I did copy up onto the wall exactly as you see it because I wanted it as close to it. This one is a little bit more detailed. It's a little bit finer. So I did trace that up exactly. But right now I'm gonna show you how I added the leaves 
So that way if you want to add leaves to your piece, you can do that. So as you can see, these are the branches that do not have leaves. So I'm gonna show you how I added the leaves. All right, so I just, I had two different sizes. So I'm just gonna add one to the end of this branch. And just trace it on there. And that's it. So now all we have to do is fill it in with paint. All right, so what I'm gonna start out with is I took a two gallon or a gallon of milk jug and I cut this open like this because I don't have a paint cup nor do I have a solo cup and I just wanted it to be easier so I, I put it in this. Then I took an inch and a half brush and now I'm just gonna get the big branches. That's what I'm gonna focus on first is all of the big branches that I can get with this. Now, if your brush is wide enough for half of the branch, but not wide enough for the other branch, it's fine. Just go out to where you feel comfortable, and then you can go in with a smaller brush. But remember, if you don't like something, have a wet cloth around, and then you can wipe it off while it's still wet. But if it dries and you don't like it, then you can paint over it with the color that's underneath of that. I'm gonna go in with a one inch brush. Then I have an eight round and I have a 10. I don't know what this is called, but ooh, look how dusty. Ew. So anyways, I'm gonna go through with these and I'm going to fill in all the leaves and get all the rest of the branches that were too small for the inch and a half brush. Thank you. 
So what do you think about my hair? Cause you know, half of the video is me as a blonde and the other half is me as a redhead. And let's just say I like the red. So we're gonna stick with it. So let me know in the comments below what you think about today's video. Until next time, peace.